Hi everyone, welcome to Blazor WebAssembly Cookie Authentication Series. So this is the last video of the series. In this video, we are going to enable Google Authentication for our Blazor WebAssembly. Okay. So let's jump into our code. So into our API project, we have to install a Google Authentication NuGet. Okay. Let's install it. Let's install Microsoft.ASP.NET Code. Authentication dot Google NuGet package. Okay, copy the package, install the package into our API project. Now we have to register our API project into Google Co Cloud Console. Okay, so go to console dot cloud dot Google dot com. Okay. So here you can see create a project right click on it first. We need to create a project So Let's name our project And create it Okay on project created successfully we can see here in this drop down, okay? And here you can search like API and services. Okay. Okay, like this API services will be shown. Now go to auth consent screen. Okay. And now I can select like external where I we can use personal. Gmail account for login with our app and create. Okay, now here we need to specify the name for our app. I will specify like API auth. Okay, and you have to give support email. I am giving my support email. It is optional, and all these are optional. And here also give your email address. Okay, next click on save and continue. Now in the scope section, click on add or remove scopes and select scopes like user email, profile, and open ID. Okay, and click on update. And our claims will be added because these claims will be provided by the Google authentication. Okay, to our app. Okay, and finally. Click on save and continue. Now here we have to add test users to authenticate with our app. This is for development mode. Okay. So what I will do, I will add my email ID. So only these IDs can be tested for authentication within our project. Okay. For production, it will be different because all users should be allowed, right? We can add about 100 test emails here, users here. Okay. And click on save and continue. And here you can use view the summary and click on back to dashboard. Okay. Now let's go to credentials menu. Okay. In this credentials menu, click on create credential. Okay, select auth client ID. Okay. And here we are going to select web application and name of my client. Okay. So it is the API only, right? Not web assembly application API. Okay. And here we need to add redirect URL. We know redirect URL, nothing but our API domain. So in the launch settings, copy this domain. Okay. And along with this, we need to specify redirect path like sign in Google. Okay. That is the default path. Sorry not here this is javascript 
control a i need to add here authorized route this is for javascript applications okay mine is api right i will give here okay let's create now what we did here just created selected web application and given name api and added authorized redirect uri okay now click on create now here you can see client id and the client secret right we are going to use them in our application okay first let's add uh, google settings into our api application okay what we have client id okay what is my client id copy and client secret okay client secret copy the client secret okay now let's uh, register google service in the program.cs file so go to program.cs file similar to all other external logins we have to register the google service okay add google okay you dot client id client secret we have to configure here so let's copy this line of code okay for reading the settings from the json file now as an appropriate setting names okay so google google and client id client secret okay that's our service registration now let's jump into our auth controller and create action method for my google login so what i will do here i will just copy this existing code okay for my google action method google login action method we just modify the existing code so it will be google login and i will change the route okay so this url will be nothing but our blazor webassembly domain okay and we know challenge method will invoke the external login provider so he, in our case uh, it should show the google authentication page login page and here we need to specify the authentication scheme so that is like google defaults okay dot authentication scheme nothing but a normal constant value google and here i need to give the callback method because this challenge method will open the google login page once the user is successfully logged in it will redirect back to the action method with that we are going to specify here so that callback method also i will remodify the existing one by duplicating it okay so here this is the callback method i want to use so here what we are going to do let's change the callback method name like google login callback and change the route as well and we know that return url will be the blazor web assembly domain okay and here this first line of code uh, to know whether our external login successful or not okay so just change this name here like google defaults so it will identify whether the google authentication is successful or not okay if authentication is successful we know that default cookie will be created right once the external authentication is successful our dotnet framework automatically creates the cookie that we cannot control but 
we are going to recreate a new cookie based on our required clients. So here what we are doing here we are fetching email ID claim name and surname like the information that are from the Google. Okay, that are created as a default cookie in the default cookie those claims are I am retrieving now. So in the manage external method we are passing them and this is the external provider login name. So change like Google. So in this method what we are doing let's explore. So this is a simple method what we are doing. We are fetching the user information based on email and the external provider name it means email uh, for now Google it will search like Google. So with that account if any user exists it will return if not exist then we are going to register them into our database. Okay new if that is a new user then we are going to register them into our database. So that is the purpose of this method. Okay. So that is the purpose of that method. Next refresh in the cookie. So I have already mentioned by default once the external authentication is success our dot net will create a new cook create authentication cookie with uh, their claims right which we cannot control. But what we are doing here we are again preparing all the necessary properties for creating authentication cookie and here if you see this line of code I am signing out means I am uh, clearing the existing authentication cookie and creating a new authentication with cookie with my required uh, claims. Okay, so if you observe here user ID I am explicitly adding into my claim. Okay, so that will be available me because I am creating a new authentication cookie. So that is the use of this uh, refresh shining method. Okay, uh, so after that we are redirecting back to our blazor web assembly with the external query parameter true means our authentication is successful if the external auth query parameter false means our authentication is failed okay so that's the logic we need to implement in this auth control and majority of the logic has been implemented in the one and two videos so before watching th this video it is mandatory to watch first video and the second video okay now finally let's jump into our blazor web assembly application and uh, one more small thing i forgot here we need to assign callback method name so google callback method name should be provided here so that unsuccessful google authentication uh, it will redirect to google login callback action method okay now go to blazor web assembly application in the login dot razor component let's add one more external login link that is for google okay and let's change the login api path so our login api path is google dot login okay Okay, now let's run both API and the Blazor WebAssembly application. Okay, here is my Blazor WebAssembly application. Click on login. See, here you can see Google, right? So click on for Google authentication. Now it's going to redirect to the Google login page we got, right? So login with our email ID we registered with the console. So those emails only will work for testing okay other than if you use any other email id it won't work okay because it is under testing right our api is not yet deployed our projects and provide password as well okay some security Let's allow this app to access. See, it is redirected back to our API project with external auth equal to true. And here you can see my Google information that is my username. Okay, and you can see login button also coming. Okay, now. That means our Google authentication with our Blazor WebAssembly application is successful. Now let's check our database whether my Google user is saved into my database or not. So here you can see 
my google information is saved into my database okay that means we are successfully authenticated with our external login provider that is google so that's all guys this is the end of the blazor webassembly authentication cookie authentication so in this series we have discussed about initially first video about the asp.net core cookie and next video facebook authentication and next twitter authentication and next microsoft authentication and finally in this video google authentication so that is the end of this series okay i hope this video has delivered some useful information to you all so if you like my video please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with a new videos until then signing off